Hey folks, Crazy Clamorator here again. And this time we're going to take a look at a game called Comeback Toto. And this was created by a company called Soft Club in 1996. I'm don't know I don't know the origins of this Soft Club company. If I were to take a guess, I'd say it's Korean. But uh Toto does not refer to Dorothy's dog in Wizard of Oz, nor does it refer to the band Toto. <laughs> I'm guessing that the protagonist is named Toto, and uh, he is a boxer, and this game is a ripoff of Snow Brothers, if you've ever played that, which was kind of a, kind of a copycat of uh, Bubble Bobble, just a little bit, but this is a weird game. Uh, as a boxer, you... Uh, beat up all the enemies on on each uh, level and it's a platform jumping game with a fixed screen just like uh, Snow Brothers and you fire various uh, sports equipment at the enemies they can be your boxing gloves uh, your boxing gloves which is the default weapon um, and there are weird uh, female bosses in this game. Uh, that you can throw basketballs, footballs, uh, I think uh, pool balls as well. <laughs> There's various uh, items you can get like speed up and stuff like that. Many of the enemies are sports related. Um, the uh, football player there will try to uh, dash at you. They each have their own special type of attack. But when you hit the enemy enough, they will turn into some weird pumpkin-headed looking guy that that you can uh, touch and press the attack button to make them fly across the screen. You cannot jump down in this game, which sucks. But... Um, the guy at the bottom will uh, will throw, I think, like a baseball at you or something. It's hard to tell what that is, but one touch and you're dead. Either touching an enemy or their projectile. But uh, as in Snow Brothers, when uh, you shoot an enemy across the screen, if it hits any other enemies they'll be dead too and uh, extra enemies killed will uh, will leave a bonus item for you and uh, bonus items can be helpful they can include like a clock that will restore your time if uh, you take too long to clear a level there will be a guy that appears and antagonizes you just like uh, just like in bubble bobble but uh, your uh, weapons can be fired downwards at an angle if you are standing on a platform above an enemy. You need to clear uh, nine rounds before you face the boss. And there will be a total of 50 levels. Um, if you start nailing a guy as they try to jump up to a level that you're on, they might get knocked back down and you have to wait until they uh, are allowed to land right by you on your platform. But there, the enemies will, uh, will charge, oops, just like that. That's the uh, football players that do that. And the baseball players might throw a baseball at you. And the enemies might get new abilities later on in the game. Uh, the pitchers uh, eventually throw baseballs down at you from above. But like I said, there are different uh, weapons you can collect. I definitely never heard of this game before. I'm pretty sure it was not not released in U.S. arcades. Oops. Um, I think you get one extra life at like a hundred thousand, and that's it. I don't think you get any more. I don't think there are any ways to collect more. 
Uh, there are speed up, uh, shoes. There is also a potion that you can collect, and that will allow you to grow big and invincible for a short time. Now that's kind of cool. This game is just weird. The bosses are hard. And, uh, the bosses are like in, uh, Snow Brothers. In which, in that, uh, um, you have to kill, um, the enemies that they shoot out. And you kick those enemies at the boss. And it looks like you can just shoot at the boss and hurt them. But it does not register, trust me. The only way to kill them is to is to uh, kick the enemies that they sprout at the boss. And here is the first boss. And all the bosses are women. <laughs> and this one just kind of... She has a cape and she just kind of rises up. Uh, and uh, she spits out these enemies. You don't know where the enemies are going to land, though. And they can land right on you and you're not ready for it. But you need to shoot the enemies at the boss. And if you take too long, then the boss will just go away. There's, there's no penalty for taking too long. And even if you beat the boss, you do not get any kind of bonus. That is really lame. Well, I died there. But, um... See, I'm gonna stay at the bottom. Um, if you're on an upper platform, enemies on the other side can drop down and then uh, go below you and jump up to the platform you're on. If I just stay here and uh, fill up the enemies with boxing gloves and then just shoot one as it comes, as the boss comes down, I can hit it. But uh, now with the boss in the way, the uh, enemies can't come down. Now the boss is rising up a little bit. Eventually they'll be able to drop down. But this is this process is going to take too long and the, the level will just end. But like I said, either way, you don't get a bonus. That's, that's really freaking stupid for beating the boss. Um, note that they that octopi appear on the boss as I continue to hurt it. And like I said, shooting it with your boxing gloves or whatever weapon you have doesn't count. Even though it looks like it does, it doesn't. But when I do beat the boss, I think they turn blue or something and they go away. Or maybe it's white. See? Congratulations. Let's go. There's no punishment for taking too long. The level will just end. But as in uh, Snow Brothers, it's a good idea to, if you can, uh, destroy enemies from the top so that they can take a lot of other enemies out as they slide downwards. Now, one of the enemies, uh, I think it's a baseball batter, is able to uh, turn into an octopus and uh, float around and attack you, and it's invincible when it's an octopus. Freaking weirdo game. Well, they were about to turn into octopi, but I killed him. There are bonus items, and uh, there's a clock there that restores the time. Or it's supposed to, I guess it didn't. Because there's that uh, character that's supposed to uh, pressure me when I take too long. So I guess the time doesn't restart when you pick up that clock. Maybe it just gives you bonus points. See, now the... Uh, the pitchers can throw balls at you from above. I think I put on... No, maybe I didn't put on invincibility yet. I do later on just to get through the levels quicker. When there's an enclosed space that you kick the enemies into, and they'll bounce around back and forth, and you'll get points as they hit a wall. It's only like 10 points, though. You don't get points just by shooting your uh, your gloves. You have to hit an enemy. Oops. Well, that's the end of my game. You get a point in your initials when you lose your last life. 
and the default letters are A, B, C, so you have to uh, change those to the letters you want. And then it says game over, and then it lets you continue, which is freaking weird. It shows you the high score list, and now it allows you conti to continue. <laughs> That's just ass backwards. <laughs> This game is really weird. Kind of technically messed up at times. Let me uh, let me just show you what it looks like to actually beat the boss. Yeah, I put on invincibility here or invulnerability, but you need to hit the boss with the enemies. Shooting it with your glove or whatever weapon you have does not matter, even though they flash when you do it doesn't have any effect. You have to hit him with the enemies that they shoot out. And again, it's... See, they turn they turn white, and then they fall down. What a weird frickin' game. Uh, I failed to mention this at this point, but I'll say it now. This was suggested by YouTube user Commander Kuhad. And you may think that's a weird name, and it kinda is. <laughs> but it's in reference to a character from a movie called... Galaxy of Terror, which is kind of a sleazy horror sci-fi movie uh, produced by Roger Corman in 1981. I remember when that came out in theaters. <laughs> it's a very sleazy uh, poster of it, a uh, movie poster of it. Uh, this gal is about to get raped by a giant worm. <laughs> But once again, those uh, batters can turn into octopi and float through the uh, walls towards you. They're uh, very annoying. But I also mentioned that uh, there is a uh, potion that you can pick up and that will allow you to become giant and invincible for a short while. And there are bonus point uh, items. I can't remember all of them, but later on in the game there will be a, an enemy that you can kill. They're deadly to touch, but they don't really do anything. And they will uh, give you like 10,000 points, but that's later on. We'll look at them later. I'm going to skip a lot of these levels because you'll see the same enemies on them. But I will show you all the boss fights. There, oh, I just missed, I think that was the potion. But again, there are also a speed up shoes. And you can get various weapons. Yeah, we'll scoot forward to the second boss of the game on round 20. And it's just this picture of a gal. And she spits out more uh, enemies that you have to fill up with your weapon to turn them into the pumpkin-headed guy or whatever the hell it is. And then kick it at the, uh, at the boss. But the boss has to be on the right plane, or at least close to it, to be able to be hit. <clears throat> and again, you can take a really long time to kill them, or a, too long to kill them, and they'll just, you'll just end the level. But if you do defeat a boss, you get no bonus, and that's incredibly stupid. But yeah, this is, uh, the boss fights are definitely harder than, uh, than in Snow Brothers. Unless you can find a safe spot and just stay there and there is the 10,000 point bonus. I believe that was 10,000. There was a, an enemy there, and there is my uh, potion I used, and I can turn invincible for a short time and gigantic. But yeah, there will sometimes be an enemy near the top center, and uh, you shoot it enough, and uh, you will get it will turn into an item and you'll get to pick it up for like 10,000 points. Now I got soccer balls. The soccer balls are nice. They shoot all the way across the screen. Now here is the third boss. And it is uh, some gal ducking under a parasol with a swimsuit. It's just, it's just a weird ass game and kind of technically messed up at times. 
But yeah, it's 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 tough to know where these where these enemies are gonna land sometimes. Really tough boss, but you have to have to uh, kick those smaller enemies at the boss. There's no other way to defeat her. There she turned yellow and floats down. But you get no bonus for killing the boss. That is so freaking stupid. <laughs> these these guys with the green hats, they make me think of Kyle Brublowski from South Park. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> uh. But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely never, never heard of this game. Um, I, like I said, uh, I'm thinking this was probably like a Korean company. A number of Korean companies ripped off other popular games of the time. And now uh, the Kyle Brofloski guy can throw something that splashes and makes a white explosion on the ground. To me, it looks like he spilled milk. <laughs> but that white stuff is deadly to touch. And uh, now we have two women driving these cars. You have to destroy each car. And the cars shoot out these... What the hell are they? Coconuts? But uh, when you destroy them, they leave that white stuff. And you need to hit the cars with the enemies that will appear. But uh, I want to say that those are coconuts they're shooting because the white stuff would be coconut milk. <laughs> I don't know. This game is so freaking bizarre. I'm I'm making my own conclusions as to what things are in this game. And there goes one car. And there goes the other one. Congratulations, let's go. And uh, now we're gonna uh, go through the last series of levels. I don't know what the hell those things are supposed to be that you that the enemies turn into when you fill them with enough uh, projectiles. But uh, we're going to scoot ahead to the final boss on round 50, and it's two uh, female cupids. And this is really weird. They shoot out these cages, and you can get caught in the cages. You do not want to float up in the cages. Because uh, you will get you will get stabbed by the bird's talons, or if you touch the bird at all, you die. So I guess you have to wiggle the joystick and mash the buttons to get out of the cage, or else you're trapped and you're eventually going to die. And these green girls will drop down from the cages, and those are the enemies that you need to fill with your projectiles and kick at the cupids. The cupids can rise a little bit, and if they rise and you kick an enemy at them, it might miss. But, um, that's how you beat the cupids. You just kick the, kick the enemies when they're filled up at the bosses. It's the game ends. This is just a weird, weird freaking game. Like I said, it's 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 playable, but it's the bosses are hard and it's kind of technically messed up at times. Just die already. I don't know that the bird can descend enough to where, like, you you lose uh, you lose the game or something if it descends too low. I don't know, but that is um, come back, Toto, in 1996.
by a company called Soft Club. And now here's the ending, and uh, your boxer guy is just running around at the bottom of the screen. There's a silhouette of him, I guess? Or, no, what? The hell is that thing? It looks like Bonk from the Turbo Graphics games. <laughs> Thank you, Game End. A weird frickin' game. Well, that is Comeback Toto. And, uh, yeah, the comeback in Comeback Toto, I don't think is like Return to Me Comeback, but more like a, he's trying to make a comeback, like he was an Xboxer or something. But that is Comeback Toto by Soft Club in 1996. And this is uh, Crazy Climb Ready saying thanks for watching Comeback Toto in 1996. Um, I will catch you later in the future with another video. Hope you have a good one, folks. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.